This is Charlie. This is Charlie's dorm room. This is Charlie's computer, mini fridge, TV, microwave, fan, his plastic decor. Everything in here has one thing in common, and it's this. A hundred years ago, none of this stuff existed. So where did it all come from? Yeah, I mean, before here. The materials, the mechanics, the circuitry, the programming, all of these are the fruit of years of research and innovation from talented engineers. Okay, so there's some secret lab full of geniuses somewhere doing research? Eh, sort of. Hi, I'm Dakota, and I want to take you inside these labs to show you who and what is happening in the world of innovative engineering research. And to answer this one burning question, what is research? Those secret labs that I mentioned aren't in some hidden remote location. They're a lot closer than you think. Wrong door. We're on the campus of Georgia Tech. Labs like this one are using 3D printing technology to bioprint live organic tissues. A lab at Lawrence Technological University is developing new ways of making batteries for electric vehicles. And at Rose Holman Institute of Technology, they're looking into the chemistry of coffee and ice cream. Yes, you heard right, coffee and ice cream. Anyway, there's a group of students here at Georgia Tech that are working on tissue manufacturing, and we've got exclusive access. This is Dr. Serpushin. His work on tissue manufacturing is going to revolutionize healthcare. So, Dr. Serpushin, what are you working on? So there are different types um, of children uh, versus adult um, cancer. Diagnosis of cancer in children is usually a lot more challenging, and that makes it really more challenging to, to treat. One of the things that we're able to do in our lab is to use our 3D bioprinting to create customized models of pediatric cancer in particular. We can actually create these in large quantities and uh, study how the cancer grow in the tissue and how they respond to, to different therapies. And we can print hundreds of samples uh, in a matter of hours and run hundreds, thousands of tests in a couple of days uh, without really harm to the children or to the patients. And that helps us to possibly come up with either more effective or new novel therapies for these pediatric cancers. So engineering research is a process of discovering knowledge that can be useful at scale. And oftentimes it's a roll of the dice to know what'll work. That's good. I wonder what my friend Dr. Meyer from LTU would add. So we do biomechanics research. Biomechanics is trying to understand how the body works. This is Dr. Eric Meyer. He runs the biomechanics lab at LTU, where they're using high-speed cameras and motion tracking to analyze human movement. Any athlete in high school or college has friends or family members that have suffered an ACL injury. But right now, more and more people are suffering these injuries, and we don't have a good solution for how we can prevent them. Any type of human movement could be measured. This could be activities of daily living, walking, sitting, standing. This is the same system they use to do computer animation for Hollywood movies and video games, but we use it to understand dynamics. Our success will be preventing a lot of these anterior cruciate ligament injuries that athletes suffer. So we're gaining both knowledge and insight by connecting motion tracking to human kinetics by making sense of seemingly disconnected facts. I like it, but I wanna hear from my research friends over at Baylor. This is Dr. Jack at Baylor University. So Dr. Jack, what are you working on? We're gonna a lot of projects. We do stuff all the way from the automotive industry to the aerospace industry, oil and gas, sporting goods. We're all over the place. What we do is we work on material systems to make things stronger faster, lighter. We had a really, really cool project not too long ago. It was for an automotive company. They said, we want to do 3D printing in a car. What might be a good part to make? What should we make it out of? How do we enhance it? They ended up making just four little widgets. It's inside the hood of the car. You don't even see it, but it was an application of 3D printing. The same stuff that you use to make little toys and little gadgets and prototypes was actually going into automotive cars. 
We then recently were able to make about 25,000 different parts and end up being an electric vehicle. Here in this lab, the students actually helped design the part. Composites are one of the most powerful tools to advance those technologies forward. Each of these researchers has something in common, curiosity. Research is fundamentally about coupling curiosity to opportunity. It's about asking the right questions to find meaningful answers and following through with those questions through many failures. It's about asking, what if? What's next? How does this impact people, profits, and our planet? It is core to how human beings have expanded our horizons. Research is how we go farther, move faster, live longer, look deeper, and see more than what we could even imagine. And you, yes you, as an undergrad, could be part of it. Research programs like these are happening right now on your campus. Are you ready to be part of the next big discovery? There are lots of ways to get started in research on campus. Do a quick search on your university website. Your campus may even have fellowship programs or an entire office dedicated to undergraduate research. Or talk to your favorite professor or academic advisor about their research today.